today we're going to make some coil pots which are what they sound like they are pots made out of coils we're going to make some coil pots where the coils on the outside are totally visible they can also be visible on the inside if you are attaching things properly so we have a sheet with lots of different types of coils i'm going to give you a quick crash course on how to make those so you will have a piece of clay you will all have a cloth that looks similar to this this is what we do our building on. We will be rolling on the table. So you rip off your chunk of clay, squeeze it into a fat caterpillar, and then hands together and apart. Together and apart. This helps you get even coils. It also helps when you're rolling to have your fingers a little spread out. When we are making coils, to start out on the bottom, you want them to be about as thick as your thumb. And most of the rest will be pinky size, no smaller than your pinky, or they're much more likely to break. Different types of coils. Well, we could take this and if you curl it up very tightly, you get a spiral. We curl it on the other end, you get a double spiral. If we were to make the coil a lot thinner so this is approximately the pinky size we could take it and do what's known as the zigzag where they're all pressed together and go back and forth coils can be simple little rods we can also make little dots which are great for filling up space to start out on building we have to have a base and your base needs to be fairly sturdy so squeeze out the fat caterpillar hands together and apart if you are rolling a coil and your coil ends up kind of flat instead of round so i'm going to make this flat on purpose all right if your coil ends up flat it's going to flop back and forth instead of roll a way to fix that is we take the coil and you gently twist it and that can make it round again so I rolled out my coil for the base I want that to be a fatter coil so it's approximately close to the width of my thumb and I am going to curl it up and we don't have to worry about length if you ever make a coil too short we can always add on if you make it too long you can always rip part of it off so I've got this wonderful tight spiral there are zero gaps on my spiral and i'm going to take my finger and i'm not flattening it i'm just gently smoothing over where the lines are we cannot build a coil pot on a pancake so i've got this side totally smooth the other side we can still see the spiral this would be the bottom side and this is going to go on the inside Then I need a ring to get started with, so I'm going to roll another coil. Still making it a little thicker. And to ensure this stays on, we're going to slip and score. So this is the slip, it's just really wet clay. We take a toothbrush, you're going to brush where the coil is going. So I'm going to lay it on here in a circle. A little overlapping is okay. And to make really sure this stays on, you can use a finger or you can use a clay tool. And we're going to do what's called blending. So I'm not smashing the coil. We still have a round coil. I'm just taking part of that coil and blending it onto the bottom. smooth it out with your finger or take a finger and some water on the inside I've made it smooth on the outside the coils are still visible anytime things are rough just smooth it over with a little water don't drown your project so our mission is we want to see the coils on the outside All right, now that I have a good solid base I'm going to make the decorative coils
my first layer done, but if you look at it, you can see there's places where we can see through the project. So I'm going to take little bits of clay, roll little balls, and use those as plugs in those areas, using them on the inside. And then once I have those in, where we're blocking daylight, I can also blend on the inside. If you blend on the inside and make it so you have no holes, this can be functional in many, many ways. So you can use it as a cereal bowl. It can hold any kind of liquid as long as you block those holes. So I am not flattening it. I am just smoothing out where you see the lines. take two thinner coils and put them together to make twists, to make braids. They just have to be very, very wet and squishy. roughness on the inside from where we blended things together. We take a sponge, we squeeze out the water, and then you can take it and smooth out the inside. Mm -hmm. 